Here's how it went down in EMX 250 race one. Prado was fast out of the start, but not as fast as the 98 Fast Varsen, who led the way from Hunter Lawrence, 96 on the Kawasaki. Prado was third. Prasrame was fourth on the 172 tip top MP32 Yamaha. And then as he tried to challenge for the lead here, Hunter Lawrence just backed out of the challenge and then just lost the front. Watch this. Inside, front went, back went first actually, couldn't get out of it, picked himself up in about 19th place and worked hard. Stalled the engine first of all. Prado went past was Rame. Those two battled for a little while. That got Prado up into second place as Vassant tried to pull clear. Thomas Kier Olsen though leapt into third with a neat move. Got him on the gas and up the inside of the Frenchman. He then went after Prado. As the Frenchman was dropped to fourth. Before long, though, Vassen was leading. Thomas Kier Olsen had already found his way past Prado. Then made the outside pass here. Got the power down early. Took the lead. And from there, he was never headed. He would go on to take the checker flag as well. Vassen would come home in second ahead of Prado, who would stay third. A little bit further back, though, there was a tussle for her eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh places. Headed up by Anton Gulick in the yellow. 4-11, Nicolas Dercourt and 96, Hunter Lawrence had all found their way past Nathaniel Brez. And then watch this, little love tap, boom. The Aussie was down. Nicolas Dercourt, job done for him. He stayed in eighth place. Hunter Lawrence, frustrated, he couldn't pick the bike up without it being snatched out of his hands, did not finish the race in the points. Instead, his main rival, Thomas Kier Olsen, took the checkered flag, extends his lead now to more than 50 points at the head of the MX250. David, dime, dime con la bandera arriba si no queda ningún corredor en pista, por favor. A ver, ponte la parte izquierda que te vea. Pista libre, señor director, pista libre, pista libre. Gracias, David. Thomas Kiros, and congratulations, your fifth race win of the season, extending that championship lead. You must be pretty pleased. Yeah, I'm really happy about my race. I got a, a OK start and just worked my way up and uh, took it a little bit easy in the beginning, uh, figured out the lines and stuff. And uh, yeah, I could I could pass for, for the lead. And uh, yeah, it was a really good race for me. I felt good on the bike. Thanks to Bodo Schmidt, uh, my trainer, Rasmus Jorgensen. My mechanic, Julian, and uh, yeah, the whole uh, Lamego Borussia team, my mom and dad. Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks.